good morning ladies and gentlemen this is Rafe Gell we're going to continue right where we left off right where we left off we just got our last MP we finished blood pool um, they are currently angry so we can't do anything uh, more there okay so we're gonna go and fight monsters in Casandora the desert land those awesome mode 7 graphics As with most uh, desert worlds in video games, we are going to start off by just being glad that it is not an ice level, but it's about as bad. <laughs> it does the, uh, that thing. The, uh, conveyor belt quicksand stuff. Yeah, it's not really a good... That was nasty. And yes, we do get to fight a boss that uses those uh, quicksand physics. Okay. Okay, now we get to do some fun, hopefully not death-defying platforming. Again, Castlevania physics. This is very much the plan your jump out ahead of time. Uh, I believe these wasp enemies, they're like weird wasp men. Uh, they spawn throughout here and they're really annoying. Okay. We're gonna be very careful just in case uh, some of these you know, areas. Okay. Yeah, some of these areas, you know, you never know really know where the platform below you is. <laughs> and Tater jump headlong into a hole. Like that. <laughs> Okay, boss time. So, we've got 4 MP now. That makes this boss a little bit easier. And by a little bit easier, I mean a lot easier. Uh, by the way, you're invincible while you're using your magic. So, yeah, that kind of just wrecks the bosses. Okay. We're, I believe we're really close to a level up here. This is another... Rain to wash away the sand. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do here... First thing I'm going to do is as these enemies spawn, they're like hidden, their layers are like hidden by the sand. So while, rather than start with the, you know, the area right there, I prefer to work backwards because once they're flying around, you have to wait to, for them to spawn another one to find them. So now we can do building direction. We're going to go ahead and go right in here. And 
to keep this rain going. I can't remember if you get music here or if that's later. There we go. Okay, some of our people ventured in the desert and lost their way. Please lead them back. Okay. We're gonna quick do that one so I know where that guy spawns. Leave. We just need to do more rain on this guy. Population is actually too low to seal the monster layers yet. Oh, also, before we get too far here, we need to so we're gonna use wheat. Uh, that actually increases how many people that their fields can sustain, which is really helpful. people are going to have something to say. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, this one's actually not a super long... remembering correctly, there's a little less waiting than with, you know, t Teddy. <laughs> also, they've got these... They're like, uh, mid-tier thing is really cool looking. The little tents instead of the actual, like, uh, log buildings that we had in the previous ones. So yeah, evil pyramid. People feel evil radiating from it. They thought it was a good idea to just go investigate. Okay. Thank you for leading us. Sadly, they're already gone. Near the shrine. Missy Man was holding a strange scroll. Okay, so we get this. Uh, that's another source of magic, I believe. It's unexpected again. Music. There we go.
<laughs> okay. So, short version, Pyramid is evil, we have music. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna seal the rest of these monster layers. Let's do this real quick first. Steal the monster's lair. Someone found something in the monster's lair. Strange bow and arrows. I'll probably actually grab some of the bow and arrows. Uh, when we get to the like the the last couple, um, just because the I mean you can see these enemies take like four four hits now I think um, the <sighs> there are enemies in the highest tier that are take many many hits. Okay. Awesome. That's what I wanted. <laughs> uh, so 160 is a magic number for us, because it lets us cast an Earthquake. Uh, earthquake is how you um, get rid of all the old buildings without having to lightning bolt them individually. Strange statue. I'm really not a fan of the statue. So yeah, uh, basically the bow and arrow lets you do like two or three damage per- basically kill most enemies in one hit. Okay, take an offering. Uh, we want a source of magic. We want... Harmonious music. Uh, that actually helps. I believe that should help. Uh, when we go back to Blood Pool. And then we'll do Strength of the Angel. So we're gonna leave the statue. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take- we're taking that one for next time, basically. I'm trying to remember what this is. I think there's something you can do up there. I have this- I'm trying to remember exactly what it is, and it's ba basically coming back to me as, uh... I feel like as soon as we finish this, uh... Oh man, that did a lot of damage. I'm getting this feeling like as soon as we, uh... Seal this last monster layer, we're basically cut off until we... Do the next section. So I'm kind of hoping that that's not the case. Civilization has improved. People have something to tell me. Okay. So I think... Yeah, they're now scared. And so the... Everything's very limited. Um, until we finish that up. So... We're going to break here. Um, I'm going to clear the rest of this desert. Go back to Blood Pool. Oh. Uh, earthquake a bunch. Basically try to max out my, uh, my population with the areas that I can right now. And see if I can get one more level before we jump into the pyramid, the next monster lair. So, I will catch you shortly. Okay. Welcome back after a short break. Uh, I'm gonna, while I was in the process of doing this, I 
uncovered a couple things. So, just first of all, I'm going to go back to Blood Pool. And there is now an offering of a compass. I can't remember where that comes up, but it comes up. Um, so we got that after we did the music. And Cassandora, we're gonna observe the people here. And we're gonna do, take an offering. They have a source of life here. Yeah, we've got a... Uh, they're, they're still unhappy, but we did manage to cover a good deal of ground there. Uh, I think we got three or four levels, so I'm not complaining. Um, I think we're still good with the star power, and we're going to fight monsters. thing because I like fighting monsters so this is actually in the pyramid um, I don't remember this being a terribly pleasant level either um, you're probably getting used to me saying that it's mostly yeah those the arrow spitting sphinx Head things. Honestly, any of the projectile-based enemies in this game are just nasty most of the time. Uh, the snakes on the floor are also really annoying. And yeah, these guys. I forgot about these guys. Yeah, we don't need to fight those. <laughs> magic scroll there for this level. Whoa, that's not good. Spikes aren't instant death. That's good. <laughs> Better than pits. Uh, we should be good. By the way, I think that source of life we picked up actually means that now we get four lives for each level instead of the three we were getting before. Um, most of the time lives are based on just the individual level, so that source of life item gives you an extra for all future levels, I believe. Uh, if I'm wrong, then I should not have taken that now, and I should have saved that for the boss rush at the end, but we'll find out. Okay. So this didn't end up being quite as bad as I was expecting. Or remembering, at least. Of course, now that I said that. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm playing Kung Fu again. I love Kung Fu, by the way. I might play the, uh, pl or do a playthrough of that at some point, just because it's a fun, silly game. <laughs> But one of the floors on Kung Fu is uh, snakes and these little exploding balls that fall from the ceiling. Okay, I believe you can just skip all the snakes there. Yep. So that thing actually goes down into the spikes if you try and jump on it too early. 
I've always thought that was like a kind of a trolly thing for this game to do. Okay, and now we fight this guy who totally gets a sword beam when I don't think we've gotten one, access to one until after this. It's only in a couple levels. Um, you can get a power-up that gives you that like crescent little sword beam thing coming off. Okay. If I'm remembering correctly... This is yet another... Yeah, that star magic is kind of dumb. <laughs> okay. Thank you for receiving sealing the evil pyramid. The man who was lost in the desert probably enticed by the pyramid's magic as well. They can look after themselves. They have this awesome, peaceful land. It's unexpected, but they have something to tell us. Oh, uh, and does that turn right around, really? Does that mean their town's not going to expand? <laughs> does that make me a terrible person? Um, so I believe, just like uh, Blood Pool, we can't actually do anything here. I don't think they're going to expand until after we get the, uh, the herbs. So, we're going to go back to the Sky Palace. New Sky Palace movement. There are, I believe, three more areas. We've got Itos up here. Marana and, uh, is it North? Is it north something? North Wall? Yeah. So, um, I believe I'm actually going to go down here to Marana next, because I believe that's where you get the herbs. And we will call that uh, this episode. We'll start off with uh, fighting our next set of monsters in Marana. Have a good one.